hello friends so now this is the second lecture for this rot i have already drawn this circle so that uh, we can reduce some time in the video because if i will draw this one it will take some time so just to reduce the video time i have already drawn so as far as in the previous video we have already calculated the rate of turn how to calculate the rate of turn and second thing what we have calculated is what the distance from wheel over point uh, from the next waypoint and uh, we have also discussed about the wheel over line this is wheel over line this is your final course or next course next course this is your initial course initial course so this is the waypoint now in this video we are going to discuss about the perpendicular distance perpendicular distance of the final course from the wheel over line or you can say the distance of wheel over line distance of wheel over line from the next or final course so what we have to do here is i have just drawn a circle over here and this is our initial course and this is final course so here uh, as usual i have already drawn this one this is r this is the center of the circle so from here to here it is r this is radius this is also radius black one and what i have done till now is i have so this is what our wheel over point what right okay wheel over point so wheel over point this is wheel over line so to derive this we will draw one more line just parallel to the final line or wheel over line and passing through the tangent point like this one this r is cutting on the tangent point no? so we'll just draw a line parallel to the same and passing through the tangent point okay so now this one as we have already discussed this distance the distance is called f we have also calculated uh, also derived how to find the value of f now since this line this line and this line is parallel so this one is 90 degree this one will also be 90 degree so this one will also be 90 degree this is 90 degree now we have to calculate this distance perpendicular distance means what is the distance so if we have to calculate the same so here it will be from here to here so first of all we calculate this distance how much is this distance so i'm going to calculate about this distance so i as you know this is theta this is theta so this is 90 by theta so this one will also be theta corresponding angle so if this one is theta so this one will also be theta i'm just um, I, uh, i'm just uh, drawing this this triangle separately so how this one this triangle i'm taking here so how it is it is somewhat like this is perpendicular and this and this is theta this one is given already f so if we we'll drive this one i have to calculate this perpendicular distance so since this is theta if we we'll take sin theta sin theta equals to this perpendicular divided by so suppose this one x so x upon f perpendicular over hypotenuse so this x is equals to f sin theta so now we have this value this value is f sin theta so if this one is f sin theta so this one is also f sin theta parallel line so this one is f sin theta from here till here it is already r from here till here it is r now this one is f sin theta now if you come to this triangle this triangle i'll just give some name like the center is c and if i give a name here suppose taking d and take this one as f this one is f so in triangle d e f in triangle d e f sorry c c d f c d f c t f this is theta this one you know r so if we we'll put cos theta cos theta so that will become now suppose from here to here as b so cos theta equals to base upon hypotenuse so this b upon r so what will be the value of this b b is equals to r cos theta so the value of b is r cos theta so we know this this is b uh, r cos theta and this one is f sin theta and total is r so from here till here from here till here is this one is r cos theta total is r so this will become r minus r cos theta so this part 
this part will become r minus r cos theta because from here to here it is r and b is r cos theta so this will become r minus r cos theta now we have we required what we required is perpendicular distance so perpendicular distance is from this point to this point so what will be the value of that so r minus r cos theta r cos theta this is this one plus this value plus f sin theta now we have this distance from here to here and that is what is the distance this this distance this distance is same so r minus i'm taking the r common here so r minus cos theta plus f sin theta so this is what the distance perpendicular distance which had to be which was supposed to be derived so this is what the perpendicular distance this one will keep uh, for some time on the board only uh, till the time we derive the next uh, derivation so I, I don't think there is anything um, tough here as this triangle is uh, here 90 degrees so and this one is already known f so we calculated this 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 value what we have uh, drawn here x that value is f sin theta so if this one is f sin theta so here the red mark is also f sin theta now i uh, cover this triangle c d and f so in c d f uh, if you come here this one is known already and this is r so this one is r and if you take cos theta so b upon r because i have assumed this one as b so b upon r so b p is equal to r cos theta so if the b b r cos theta so this total distance from perpendicular so total perpendicular distance what we required from here to here this is a perpendicular distance so that is that will become f sin theta plus this value so this value is r minus r cos theta i have taken the r is common so 1 minus cos theta plus f sin theta so this was uh, what we are required to derive here so if we'll go to the next part uh, that may be ask one more application so this one you can note down now uh, it may be asked to derive the distance of wave point from center what is the central distance now this figure is very uh, congested so i will just drop this one oh, I'll, drop everything. I'll keep this formula i'll keep this formula for some time r 1 minus cos theta plus f sin theta okay and now what we have to derive is this one suppose this is a circle this is your tangent this is the center this is your theta so and this is the radius this is also a radius this is perpendicular to this now what we have to derive here is what is the distance of this center from this waypoint distance of so since this is theta so this one will become theta by 2 so and this is already known so what we are going to derive is this is the fourth one distance of distance of wheel over point from center of circle and that is we are going to derive this one assume this one as x this is this will become theta by 2 because i am just uh, dividing this angle so if you come to this triangle i am giving the name here something suppose f f and this one is suppose d so in triangle c f d here f is 90 degree f is 90 degree so it will take here cos theta cos theta by 2 because i am taking this one only cos theta by 2 equals to b by h that is r upon h that is x so that will x become r upon cos theta by 2 so we can rewrite this like x is equals to r and we are taking this cos 1 upon cos theta that is sec theta by 2 this is the next derivation the fourth derivation what we have to derive here now suppose the question is giving to find how to monitor uh, uh, rate of turn how to monitor a point then what we have to do there is uh, as on your exit also 
you just assume a point if you have uh, something you are on the terrestrial coast uh, sorry if you are on coast then terrestrial object you have suppose any raccoon is there or any boy or something whatever not boy but fixed object is there just plan a radius how much uh, uh, radius we have to um, consider suppose you are taking a radius just plan a radius and assume this one is center and just plan a radius and make a arc of that radius whatever the radius you have planned suppose one nautical mile 1.5 nautical mile 2 nautical mile whatever so uh, plan a radius plan a uh, radius and plot the arc thereafter make the tangent make a tangent over this arc and another tangent also let both the tangent cut at a point so this point will become your waypoint this point to find the waypoint if you are going in the congested water you have to find the waypoint perfectly and uh, you have already planned the radius like suppose this radius you have already considered whatever was the required according to the depth so you have planned your radius and you have to find out the waypoint where to draw the waypoint it is just a reverse of that what we have already calculated so uh, as you have r you have waypoint now this is the circle which you will be following after calculating the rate of turn whatever the value you have taken according to your speed and radius what we have already discussed in last lecture in part one now the next thing what we have to derive is distance of now distance of field over line if you will have to draw the same thing because i have to calculate the fifth fifth derivation distance of wheel over line from center of circle so i'll have to go to the previous diagram what i had i had drawn i have to draw it once again like uh, suppose i have this circle this is the center this is the center and suppose this is your waypoint so this is your final course final course this is your initial course initial course so this is your r r suppose this is f will over point will over point this is your waypoint now we'll draw a wheel over line that will be the parallel to that course now this one is this one is parallel wheel over line this is wheel over line so now we have to calculate the distance of wheel over line this one from center so what we have to calculate is this one this one so as we have already calculated this distance this distance i have already calculated and what is this one and total is r total is r so now this distance will become total r minus r into 1 minus cos theta plus f sin theta if i'll take total is r and this one is uh, i have already calculated so this will be the value so this will be the value and uh, what we have already calculated this one we have already calculated and total we uh, we already know that because it is radius only so this one we know and this is r so this one r minus this is very simple now this is one of the five things which may be asked you to derive or the application of the derivation may be uh, used or anyhow it will be asked in, your, uh, in question uh, where the application of this all these five derivation will be used so you know how to calculate all this value and uh, now the next and the final things part which is uh, most important is how to apply the current how to apply the current in, in uh, relation to the wheel over point whether the wheel over point will be same or wheel over point will change somewhere so this is what i am going to give one formula for that 